This is the first page of the Form 1040, the Schedule C income eventually rolling into line 8, additional income from Schedule 1. This is the Schedule 1 additional income and adjustments to income, the Schedule C income eventually rolling into line 3, which is business income or loss from the Schedule C. This is a Schedule C profit or loss from business, which has an income statement format, income minus expenses. Okay, so let's look at the maximum net earnings. So the maximum net self-employment earnings subject to Social Security part of self-employment tax is $160,200 for 2023. So this number will typically increase from year to year with inflation. We'll talk about self-employment tax in a lot more detail in future presentations. But remember, for federal income taxes, we usually think about, or for funding the federal government, the type of tax we think about is income tax. However, we also have Social Security and Medicare, which are federal taxes, which are basically payroll taxes when we're a W-2 employee. We don't think of them as much, even though they're being taken out of our wages as a W-2 employee, because although they're reported on the W-2, they don't typically have a big impact on the calculations on our 1040, which is basically going to be calculating our federal income tax and hopefully refunds related to it. However, when we're self-employed, then we're going to have to pay our portion of the self-employment tax, Social Security and Medicare. And so that calculation is going to be quite important and quite apparent. If we have income that's over this threshold, if it were W-2 income, you would see it in that the boxes that represent income on the W-2, box 1, 3, and 5, I believe, might be different. In other words, box 1, which is subject to federal income tax, might be higher than box 3, which is going to be subject to the, the uh, Social Security, which could be capped at this amount, 160200 